everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. And we have lots of people in the waiting room. So join us, join us, because I think we need to start letting people into the wedding, uh, the waiting, the waiting room. We need to start letting them in. That's what needs to start happening. Okay. So this is a fun part. So we have, oh boy, there are a lot, there are a lot of people coming in. Oh, wow. Everybody is joining us. This is so exciting. Thank you so much for joining us. We have just about 116 participants in the room and I am waiting. We're going to wait a few minutes till everybody joins us as we have lots of people from around the world and around the country joining us. We have special guests. We have winners today. It's going to be a great day and I'm so excited to share this with you. I want to see these numbers rise up because uh, last time we had one of the largest crafting Zooms and you know me, if you know me, you know that I have big goals and big dreams. So there are definitely people that need to know about our Stitch Around the World event that maybe do not know about it and you're going to text them. Like Wendy Salkin is going to text her friend right now and she's going to say, Oh my goodness, you have to get on Stitch Around the World. Or Mary Grinnell is going to message her friends and she's going to say, I ha you have to come on Stitch Around the World. So Hazel first, you go tell your friends to join us because it's Stitch Around the World time and we are about to get very, very crazy with all the amazing guests that we have joining us today. And I am so excited to share all the beautiful, beautiful entries and submissions because when creators and crafters like yourself take yarn, you don't just take it, you put so much love and creativity in it. It is one of the coolest things. And when myself and my team went through the submissions, one of the hardest things was is judging them because I know that there was so much love put into them. So I, I appreciate your creations and um, I am waiting. Um, so hello, Blanche uh, Rosenblatt. Hello. Uh, ha Cheryl says having trouble getting in. Um, I'm not quite sure why, um, but uh, definitely join the Zoom. The Zoom ID is, um, I, I can read it out loud, 534-540-7857. And the password, I'm not going to read out loud because it's really confusing. So <laughs> definitely go for the information. Sam is going to double post that so you all can see it. But we have lots of people in the waiting room and we have Tom and Dan joining us as our Zoomologists and I can't do it without them. So they are they are definitely here to save the day. Zoomologists are the greatest thing. Not zoologists, not to be confused with zoologists, zoomologists. Um, hello. Um, sh wow. Okay. Chris Lopez is on it. She shared to a bunch of groups. <laughs> she, she is our, uh, she is the She Shows PR team. Mark and Kurt, watch out. Um, Chris is coming for your jobs. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Nuris Rodriguez says hello, and I'm gonna look in the um, I'm gonna look in this amazing Zoom room and see. Uh, uh, and that is a yes to Kurt. Uh, Kurt, you just asked me a question, and I am saying yes. Um, to uh, Tom and Dan, one of our Zoomologists, if you wanted to uh, communicate how anyone could see the ASL interpreters, both Ann and Michael. Yes, uh, I put text instructions in the chat, but also for verbal instructions, uh, go, to, uh, go to your gallery view and uh, you should see Michael, one of our ASL interpreters in the first few rows of gallery view. And if you uh, wanna see his picture larger, you go to his frame and in the upper right hand corner of his frame, there are three dots and click on those and select pin video. And that will be the main video you see if you just wanna have that view. Okay, thank you so much, Tom. And I am just going to go through. Uh, Mary L, I see you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I see Diane Lawless. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we have, um, oh, I see there's Chantal of Nititude is here. Oh boy, it's a crazy fun house here. 
And there are lots of people joining us. We have John Giswold is here, Jessica, Mama in a Stitch, and it looks like she's there with one of her children. Um, we have, oh, lots of, uh, Cheryl Hentz is here, Courtney Bell, Herma Smith, everybody is here. Thank you so much for joining us. Wow, we have lots of people here today, and I am so excited to get this party started. Um, Kurt, do you want to give me a heads up when we should give it a go? Um, I'm going to wait for a, um, a notification from you. I see all of you crafting Bobby Binder. I'm loving what you're working on. I'm not sure what it is, but it's knitting and I'm here for it. Um, oh, a Stephanie cook. She's doing cookie monster. She's using our new lion brand Sesame street yarn, Stephanie gold star for you. <laughs> um, oh boy, Haris Kahl is here and she's shown me a stuffed animal. I love it. Everybody, I love your creativity and I'm so excited to see all of you. I see Counting Crafty, Melanie D with a very cute baby. I do not believe that is crafted or maybe is it? Um, <laughs> that, no, it's a real baby. It's a real baby. That's a real baby. Very cute baby. Um, awesome. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, I'm going to um, go ahead and all right, I got the green light to go. Thank you all for joining us today. Welcome to Stitch Around the World Fashion Edition, a global virtu a virtual event where we've had crafty event, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, a crafty event where you are the star of the show. If you are joining us for the first time, welcome. And if you're joining us for the second time after our April 30th event, welcome back. It was a pretty stupendous event, if you ask me. Our inaugural Stitch Around the World event attracted more than 700 participants from across the globe. We had crafty guests from all 50 states and as well as countries like Australia, Egypt, Israel, England, France. Egypt was real, like that, that, that still to this day. Um, it was such a huge success that we had to do it again, but this time we wanted to raise the stakes and put a bigger spotlight on all of you. You guys are the stars, you guys are the crafters, and I wanted to put a spotlight on you. So um, with that being said, um, over the past few weeks, we've asked you to submit your best stitch creations in four categories, home, accessories, sweater, and wild card, which basically means any old thing you want. <laughs> And boy, did you deliver. We received a ton of mind-blowing submissions, over 300 submissions, and we want to thank you all for participating. We were so impressed with so many creations and all your incredible efforts. However, this is a contest, and we could only choose a few winners, so we had some tough decisions to make. It was really hard. We needed to bring in Simon Cowell. I probably would, I, I don't even, I was probably Paula Abdul. I, I'm bringing, I'm going back to like American Idol OG. Okay, um, each of our winners will be receiving a jam-packed gift basket, courtesy, courtesy of Lion Brand Yarn and Clover. This is a makeshift, makeshift version. Hopefully you all can see it, of course you can. But I promise <laughs> it's here. <laughs> you can't see it. I, I, I'm not holding any, I'm holding, you know what, maybe I'll try and take my, my Zoom background off just so you all can see the cool stuff that you will be receiving. Um, here we go, uh, you all can see. Now, there's gonna be lots of yarn and we have hooks and wonderful things thanks to Clover. So thank you so much, Clover, for um, being a part of Stitch Around the World. And as always, thanks Lion Brand for being who you are. Um, I want to take this moment actually to ask you all to hold up your signs of where you are tuning in from because, oh, Kurt's, Kurt is ready. I want to see where you all are tuning in from. I'm coming from New York City, but I see Charlotte, North Carolina. I see Fresno, California, Long Island, New York. I see Allentown, PA. I see Connecticut. I see Los Angeles. I see New Jersey. I see Canyon, Texas. I'm not supposed to see I see because I'm just supposed to know that I see. Beacon, New York, NYC, Vincent, I see you. Um, Tom River, New Jersey, Barbara, I see you. Debbie in Ohio, thank you for your American flag. Texas, Raquel, 
Blue hat, Raquel, you, that is an awesome sign. Thank you so much. Portland, Oregon, Nevada, NYC, Washington, South Florida. Wow, lots of people. North Carolina, Philadelphia, Atlanta, Connecticut. Awesome. This is amazing. Think, uh, we have a uh, Beirut, Lebanon. Oh, okay. Okay, Kareen, I see you. Wow. Okay, Lebanon. Interesting. I like the spice. I'm here for it. Um, this is awesome. Wow. Really worldwide. This is the ultimate. I love when we can all come together. Delaware, Texas. Um, I am so appreciative of everyone joining us today. So definitely, thank you so much for joining us. And um, as I mentioned earlier, in addition for any of our guests who are hard of hearing, we are very pleased to have our friends Michael Hershenberg and Ann Orosako joining us today. They will be our ASL interpreters for the event, and you can find them in the boxes just above here throughout the show so no one misses any of the excitement. Thank you, Michael and Ann, for joining us today, and thank you for giving everyone the opportunity to experience Stitch Around the World Fashion Edition. So, are you ready for the world's craftiest runway? Can I get a yes? I envision hearing you all scream yes at me. <laughs> me too, but before we start, we have a very spe special message to share with you, as we are not just here to give away prizes, but we are also here to give back. And to talk about that, I've invited our first guest, the lovely and amazing Cecilia Nelson Hurt. Woo! Hey, hey everybody. So Cecilia, known as Creative Sessy, and I can't tell you how happy I am to be here for Stitch Around the World Fashion Edition. So I love that we're gonna take this time to celebrate the global crafting community, and I love that you did the global roll call. And so for those of you who don't know me, I am a knitter, I am a traveler, I support, advance. My goal is to really create an inclusive, diverse world, and so I serve at Vogue as part of their inaugural diversity advisory uh, um, council. So I am part of you, I am one of you, and this is amazing. I'm not knitting because I'm using my hands to talk to you now, but as Shira said, we're really here to give back. And I love, so love, a party with a purpose. And this is a party with a purpose because the purpose is we're gonna support the Loveland Foundation. So the Loveland Foundation is committed to giving back and showing up to communities of color in a unique and powerful way with a particular focus on black women and black girls. So the Loveland Foundation's therapy fund is raising money with the goal to offer more than 5,000 hours of free mental health services for Black women and girls. What's important is that helps to relieve the burden of the costs, as well as to remove the stigma around mental health. And so we encourage each of you to donate whatever you can to this worthy cause. So I love the fact that we have our Zoomologists, Tom and Daniel there, and on cue, they're going to place the link in the Zoom chat that will take you directly to the page where you can donate to the Loveland Foundation Therapy Fund. More importantly, as we know, for the past few months, we've really been dealing with COVID-19. And it's you know sad to say that it's claimed the life of more than 360,000 people worldwide. This is a global pandemic, people. And while global um, cases are confirmed to be over 6 million, right? That's scary when you think about that number. But because of this, we're asking each of you, if you're able, to also consider donating to the Red Cross COVID-19 Relief Fund. So again, Tom and Dan, our amazing Zoomologists, will share a link in the chat that'll take you directly to the page for the Red Cross and their COVID um, ability for you to give back. So, you know, please click these links. Even if you save them for later, even if it's not today, maybe it's later because you're knitting and you don't want to stop your, your, your groove, that's fine. But I do ask for you to give whatever you can. We're not going out for Starbucks, so maybe skip Starbucks and give something to one of these, right? It's an amazing opportunity. Whether it's five or 10 or $100, it really just takes a few minutes and your donations can change someone's life. So think about the power of changing someone's life is at the click of your fingers and maybe someone who you, um, who you know. And so as I always say, be kind to everyone you meet. They're fighting a battle you know nothing about. 
And so while we are stitching around the world, let's help save the world. And with that, I'm gonna head it back over to my love, Shara. Oh man, that was so well said, Ceci. Girl, you, you wore my heart. <laughs> every time, every time. Um, thank you, Ceci, for delivering that very special, mes special message. And thank you in advance to all of you who donate or will donate. Um, please save those links and log in after the Zoom. I did it myself, and both are such easy and effective ways to lend a hand. And I think in both, in both moments right now, we need to lend that hand. It's very important. So um, that's what today is about, right? We're all coming together, and we're lending a hand to each other, knowing that we're not alone, that we're all together. We may not be able to be together right now in person, but it's important to, to do whatever you can. And like Ceci said, we're not going to Starbucks. So <laughs> that 575 for that latte <laughs> can make a difference. Um, and speaking of lending a hand, I'm very excited to introduce our next guest. If you didn't see her on Stitch Around the World last time or possibly on one of my wonderful episodes of The She Show, you've seen her on television for 37 years because she's just 38 years old. You love her. I love her. Lion Brand loves her. Here to present our Crafting Visionary Award, please welcome Vanna White. Hi, everyone. How are you? Hey, Hi. Shira. Hi, Vanna. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm so enjoying this. I can't believe all the amazing things that people have made. They've been so creative, and I'm glad I didn't have to <laughs> pick. I'm, I'm glad I, was, I didn't have to do that. But, oh, it just is so wonderful, especially during this time, that we I can take the time to create things and enjoy making them, and it's just, it's just great to be part of. A hundred percent. And Vanna, tell me, how many baby blankets have you made so far? Well, believe it or not, I've made six. Wow, that's a lot. It's so much fun. That's, you a, that's a lot. I've not made six blankets. It is. I, I, mean, I, have, made, I have made 19 hats, though. So that's, wow. that's something. Okay, okay, there you go. All right. It's but kind six of about blankets. the same if you measure them out, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. And tell me, how are you, do, how are you enjoying time with your family? Well, I'm, I'm happy that both of my kids are home. So we've been going on walks. We've been playing board games like we did when we were kids, parties and all those great games and just uh, cooking together, eating together. It's been, that part has been wonderful. You know, I, so we've been, we've been safe. I, I, I love it, Vanna. Vanna, thank you so much. So I, as you said, we received, and I said, we received so many submissions across our categories and we were so excited to reward them all. However, there was one that really stood out in a special way yeah. and reflected some truly unique craftsmanship that we wanted to highlight. So I, I know that you had a chance to look at it yourself. Yes. I did. <laughs> Unbelievable. I absolutely love it. I mean, maybe I shouldn't say anything about it. I should wait and let this person show it off. But uh, I was yeah. very impressed. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to let, I, I think we need to get the words going. People are just at the edges of their seats here. I am too. I'm excited to see how this all turns out. So Vanna, I'm going to hand it over to you and let you introduce the winner. Okay. The winner of the Stitch Around the World Crafting Visionary Award goes to da -da -da -da, Elisa Lawless from Dover, wow. Delaware. Wow, wow, wow. Elisa. Are you around? And did I pronounce your name correctly? Yes, I you did. Yay. Thank you so much. This is such an honor. I loved your yarn, and I grew up watching Wheel of Fortune with my family every day. Oh, oh, that's so nice. But everybody, it's, congratulations, first of Thank all. Thank you. You're amazing. Can you please show us the yes. winner? The, this, look, how great is that, everybody? Huh? That's wow. Awesome. That's absolutely beautiful. Alyssa, can you tell us a little bit reasons as to why you don't have that blanket with you at the moment and tell us the dimensions? Yes. So about a couple years ago, my brother proposed to his now wife in front of City Hall in Philadelphia. And it, he was, 
it was exactly that blanket. It was a little bit, they were small. And then you saw the building in the background and it was such a beautiful image that I wanted to capture it in a very unique way for them. So I spent six months trying to draw it out on the computer in like a block picture so that I could really pull out the beautiful dimension of that building that you could look at this 2D blanket and really see the 3D dimension of the building. And after six months of playing with it, I was able to turn it into a uh, block pattern that I could then crochet. And then I used eight shades. I used white and I used black. And then I bought every single shade of gray in every brand I could possibly find and rearranged them until I found six shades of gray that worked. And it would take me from a, a light gray all the way to a dark gray. And two of them were vanished choice. Thank you very much. And um, <laughs> I love your own. <laughs> and so I then used the eight shades and I had to make a lot of bobbins. I had shoe box, um, uh, Rubbermaid's bowl. And I made bobbins because there were such little spots that sometimes there could only be maybe three or four blocks with that color. So I could have anywhere from 30 to maybe even 50 strings going in there at a time. And I got to the point about halfway through, I had to stop every row or two and my husband and I would untangle it together and then I'd keep going. And then in the end, I, I had thousands upon thousands of ends to weave in. And it turned out to be like 55 inches by 75 inches. And how long did the whole process take? Uh, it took six months to design the photo and a year to crochet. Wow. Wow. Well, it is magnificent. It really is. I have never seen anything more beautiful. I mean, I make little simple baby blankets. I, now you inspire me. I'm going to have to <laughs> up my game here. Congratulations for, for that. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. I'm sure everybody else feels the same or, that's watching, right? I mean, goodness oh, gracious. Almost I don't know definitely. What to say. I know it's it's amazing. I we we all were we all were stumped. I, I do want to ask one because we did have a chance to talk to Alyssa the other day. And I want to ask you, because you 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 gave a really nice answer about what Stitch Around the World means to you. And I'd love for you to share with everyone and also Vanna. So like many other people, I'm stuck at home. Um, we're still at a stay at home order and I'm home with my kids and there's just a lot of stress and everything. And I love that I can sit here and I can crochet away the stress and see that I'm not the only one with that. Everyone is stuck at home and we're all crocheting together, knitting together, going through the same thing. Well, that is so well said. And Alyssa, thank you so much. And congratulations to you. And Vanna, I, I, Vanna, am I right? Like, what a, what a piece, right? And yes. she used Vanna's yes. choice. I didn't even plan that. <laughs> that was well, nice. I'm just, I'm just impressed with uh, not only how beautiful it, it turned out, but the time that you took, the effort that you put into it. And I mean, what a, what a piece of love. You know, it just, it just really touched me. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you for sharing with everyone. Truly beautiful. Thank you so much, Alyssa. Thank you. And congratulations. And you will, oh, I'm not going to be sure. You'll be walking away with all that. <laughs> We're not walking away. You're going to be sent all that beautiful yarn of Summer Kiss, True Boo, um, Re-Up, and 24-7 um, and Cotton. So hopefully you're going to create something just as amazing, if not better. I don't even know if it could be better. But I, I challenge you, Alyssa, for the next Stitch Around the World. And <laughs> Vanna, thank you so much for joining us today. As always, you are a true pleasure and such a great friend to have not hate Stitch Around the World and as always, Lion Brand. Thank you so much, Vanna. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Keep up the needlework. Keep doing it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Vanna. Bye. Well, I thank you to Vanna. Thank you to Alyssa. That, I mean, what an, an amazing blanket. And now I have another special woman with me who many of you may already have seen her on a She Show <laughs> episode or even General Hospital. Uh, <laughs> to present the winner of the home category, please welcome from General Hospital actress and crafter Emmy Ryland. Hey, girl, what's Hi. up? Hey, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be telling everyone who the Home Crafter Award will be going to. So excited. 
Emmy, can we just, we, we just need to do, uh, like just, you're not in a yarn store, right? <laughs> <clears throat> this is, uh, this is my stash, guys. <laughs> I love it. I love all that, like, landscapes I see behind there. Do you oh see that? God, I, I got laser <sighs> focus. <laughs> I'm actually making my daughter and I matching crocheted sweaters out of the landscape yarn right now. I love that. We actually talked about that on the She Show. I'm so here we for did. that. Um, we did. So I thank you so much. And I'm going to hand it over to you because you are going hey. to present the winner for the home category. I'm so excited. You know, I have been knitting and crocheting my entire life. I grew up in a big family in rural Pennsylvania, and my mother encouraged us to make our own toys and make things to use around the house. And I, it, this category just means a lot to me, and I'm really excited. So, without further ado, the winner of the home crafting category is <laughs> Judy Scherzer from Ghent, New York. Woo! Judy! Hey, Judy! Thank you. Oh, there she is. Hi. There I am. <laughs> tell uh, us, show us, tell us what about uh, your what you made. It's awesome. Um, so I, uh, um, about five years ago, our extended family had a new baby, Chase, and I wanted to make something fun for him to use um, when he got a little bit older. And I searched through a whole bunch of patterns and found um, a baby blanket by. Um, I guess it's a blog, uh, Repeat Crafter Me. Um, and she had a baby blanket that looked like a road. And then she had a link to making little crochet cars. Um, and I made some of the cars um, into trucks, like a fire truck and a police car. So um, I thought it was really fun. And I actually have a picture. So, oh, let us see. So you can see it on the background. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love the fire truck in the background, it's awesome. I have to tell you that I showed my kids because they want—they always want to know what I'm doing. And I told them that I, about your creation and they immediately want me to start making them one today. <laughs> well, so, it, the blanket yeah, is super easy. Pattern. We need it. <laughs> right. It's, again, it's Repeat Crafter Me. Um, yes. So thank you to that blog and the pattern. Um, and it's, it's a super easy pattern to make. It's, you know, just crocheting back and forth. And the cars were really easy and they don't take very long to make. And I added some, I went to the uh, button district and I found some really cute plastic buttons and opposing colors. And that was fun to make as well. So that was so cute. I love the button tires are so cute. <laughs> right, right. So it's fun. And I think Chase enjoyed playing with it. How long did it take you to make? Well, I don't, I don't, uh, crochet every day. So I don't recall and um, probably a couple of months just because I don't work on it all the time. But it was, it was fun. It's fun to make. You and know I, what I love about the little cars? It's something that you can take with you on the go. I like having like little projects. You can work on the blanket at home, but then when you're out, have like one of the cars with you. I love that. So right, cute. right. Like the car toys I used to do for my kids. There would, there would be toys in the car and toys at home. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Judy. I Thank love you. the blanket. Love the cars. Here for it. It's like, you know, you get the toy and the blanket. It's amazing. So cute. Like, yeah. uh, amazing deal. And thank you, Emmy, Rylan. Thank you so much for joining us again and for coming on Stitch Around the World and sharing your love for craft and also just being a part of this Stitch Around the World Fashion Edition. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's awesome. Amazing. Go. I, you have a lot of work to do behind you. you have I, I a lot have of so many together. projects going. So many projects. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Thanks, again for girl. joining us, Emmy. Thank you. And as mentioned at the beginning of the show, uh, the winners, um, the winners of the different categories today will be walking away with lots of beautiful yarn, true boo, summer kiss, re up, and 24 seven cotton, as well as lovely stuff from our good friends at Clover. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So, and now I'm excited to move on to a category that's very near and dear to my heart. Since it includes hats, and as many of you know, my Hat Not Heat campaign is aiming to collect 100,000 blue hats. I have big dreams, people. 
um, this year to be distributed to students in October for National Bullying Prevention Month. So I'm, I'm supposed to plug Hat Not Hate right now. So Zoomologists, please put in the information in the chat about Hat Not Hate. You can go to hatnothate.org. Thank you so much, Zoomologist Dan. And uh, August, August 1 is the deadline for this 100,000 goal of mine. So help me reach it. I'm wearing a blue hat, even though it's like 80 degrees right now. To help us present the winner of the accessory category, I want to introduce a globally recognized makeup artist whose clients have included Janelle Monet, Lily Co Collins, Jessica Beale, Bella Hadid, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and more. I could literally just, there's so much. He's also the global makeup ambassador for Shiseido and brand ambassador for Maybelline. Hey, what's up, brand ambassador? <laughs> Dubbed as Makeup Maestro by Elle Magazine. Please welcome Vincent Oquendo. How are you, Vincent? Hi, thanks for having me, Shira. Um, thank you for wearing blue. Did you know <laughs> that I love blue? Is that a, did you know that already? <laughs> I didn't know, but I feel really on, on trend. <laughs> you are on trend. You are totally hashtag trending. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining us today. And you are going to be introducing the accessory category. So I'm going to hand it over to you. Yes, yes. It's so great to be a part of Stitch Around the World. This is like such a cool organization. I love this. This is so much fun. Um, I... Accessories are huge for me. Um, it's it's uh, when when I'm working with a client with the red carpet, whether it's um, the Emmys or whether it's like a fashion shoot, accessories can make or break a look. It can get my client on the re on on like the best dress list essentially if we get it right. So um, oftentimes when I'm doing when I'm designing makeup looks, I'm designing and I'm matching it to the accessory. So um, it's 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 one of those things that like if it clicks, it really clicks and it can, and then it runs globally. So it's not lost on me. Um, I'm really excited to present this accessories category. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce the winner. I don't know if that's a good drum roll, <laughs> but the winner is Leah Michael from Sherman Oak, California. Hey! Hi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's see your look. So I made a, a, a bag. Oh my goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> tell Leah, tell us a little bit about the bag. What yarn did you use? Where did you get the inspiration? So I, I mostly make crochet bags and I always use cotton yarn and my favorite uh, cotton yarn is of course 24 seven. This color spe specifically the goldenrod color. So <laughs> yeah, so and I like mandalas. So I, I always search for mandala designs online and uh, I try to turn them like into a bag, a round bag. So this is how I got the, the idea. <laughs> I love it. It makes me want to go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I live in LA, so we're, we're, we're like always on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's hilarious. Um, can, you, can you tell us a little bit um, about what Stitch Around the World means to you? Yeah, I think it's a great initiative, especially in this strange you know, on certain times, it's a great way to stay connected uh, despite the social distance. So, yeah, thanks for everyone for being here. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Oh, my friend, you know my friend from Lebanon, she's here, the one you mentioned. Oh, before. she's yeah. your friend? Oh, yes. man, that's awesome. I'm so glad she joined us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. All right. You help make this even international. You're the, you, yes. <laughs> I'll start for you, Leah. <laughs> um, well, I, I'm so glad that, um, that you are, that you, your bag stood out. It was beautiful. And Vincent, Thanks. thank you so much for joining thank us you. today and, um, sharing just your happiness and your blue silk brave. It's hot outside. Okay. Um, your blue silk top.
off with us and thank you so much. And I could not agree with you, by the way, that when I have worked with makeup artists in the past, they really do look at your whole outfit and it really does make everything. So that your accessory, Leah, today made everything and made the look for the accessory category. So congratulations to you. Thanks. And thank you so much, Vincent, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Oh, wow. Okay. And as mentioned before, our winners are going to be walking away with a beautiful summer yarn collection from Lion Brand Yarn, including Summer Kiss, Re-Up, 24-7 Cotton, and True Boo, along with some wonderful treasures from our good friends at Clover. So thank you to Clover. And without, um, I also want to remind you about the different um, organizations that Ceci highlighted at the beginning of this event with the Loveland, the Loveland Foundation and the Red Cross COVID-19 Relief. All those links are going to be in the chat. Please take the time, if not now, during, afterwards to, um, you know, donate, whether it's a dollar, whether it's whatever you can give makes that difference. Um, so definitely, please take that time. Next up, we have our sweater category, which may seem odd in the summer months. Yes, it does, because it is warm and I'm sweating in my own home right now. But since most of you are inside with AC on, why not? Please help me welcome crafter extraordinaire, joining us for the second time, Alexandra Two of Wands. Hey. Woo! Hey, hey girl, how are you? I'm good. I'm upstate New York, so it's a little bit cooler here than it oh. probably is in the city, but. Oh man, it's, I mean, I'm also wearing like a hat <laughs> and I'm wearing this sweater. I'm, I'm really, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little toasty. I'm a little toasty. Yes, that's understandable. You can make spring sweaters too. That's true. This is actually using re-up. So it's not nice. so, and I know that you like re-up as well. So, I I um, so we can, we can, uh, no, not re-up, rewind. There's so many well, re's. I like both. Yeah, I know you like both. Um, okay. So I'm going to hand it over to you as we enter the sweater category. All right. Thank you so much. I am so excited to present this category. Sweaters are definitely my favorite thing to make, even though right now I am working on a blue hat. Everyone, make sure you're working on your blue hats too. Send them in to Shira so she can reach her 100,000 hat goal this year. Um, but yes, yeah, sweaters, I think, are so special because as a beginner, you know, you feel like you can really only do very simple things like a scarf, maybe a hat that's made out of a rectangle or something like that. But when you make your first sweater, it's just the best feeling ever. It feels so real. It's something that you can wear out. You're so proud of your first sweater. And I always say that you think sometimes sweaters can be so complicated, but really you can make pretty much anything out of just a rectangle. Um, I hope that you guys like, can hear me okay. Oh, no, can we can hear you. We, we can um, hear you. Scattered. Okay, good. The reception up here, the, the internet is not so, not so great in the mountains. Um, anyhow, when, uh, yeah, you can make a sweater out of pretty much, you know, just rectangles. And it can be very simple, but you can do it, even if you're a beginner. So make sure you remember that. However, our winner today did not make a simple sweater. This sweater is incredible. It is so complicated looking. I don't know how she did it. Um, so without further ado, I would love to introduce our winner for the sweater category, Miss Claire Goodell from Fresno, California. Hey! Hi. <laughs> Yay! Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you guys like my sweater. Oh, congratulations. And it's beautiful. Thank you. It up. I have it right here. So uh, this is my honeybee tea. And it's funny that you said a really simple, you can make something really simple because that's kind of my, my goal in life is to convince people that color work is really simple and crochet. And so this looks super complicated, but it's super easy. And it's I would just, almost think that's knit. It looks so intricate. That thank I, you. It's crochet. It's so beautiful. That, that's, that's another one of my goals too, is I, like with this design, I wanted to try to bring all the stranded color work that you see in knitting into crochet. And because that's something that I really love, I love doing color work, that's what I specialize in. That's basically what my whole blog, Eclair Makery, is about. 
Um, and with this design, I was like, okay, I want to make a size inclusive color work design and make it look like knitting and people still think this is knitting, wow. <laughs> which makes me really happy because that was my goal with this. Wow, you nailed so, it. Definitely. Tell you. us the name of your blog again. Um, my blog is Eclair Makery. So I do a lot of color work designs. Um, I am just starting to get into color work um, garments. So this was kind of my first big one, but I've got a lot of, if you check out my Instagram, I've got a lot of fun ones coming. <laughs> so. That's incredible. Thank you. Um, I always try to, with my designs, have the whole thing be themed. So the theme was bees. So I made a honeycomb stitch with front post double crochets and to kind of bring the whole bee thing all together. Incredible. I am Thank so you. impressed with that. I'm sure everyone here is too. <laughs> and the pattern's available in my shop if you guys want it. <laughs> oh, there you go. You can be just like Claire. <laughs> um, well, Claire, thank you so much for your beautiful sweater. Yep, I worked on that all weekend. And <laughs> I Alexandra, <laughs> Alexandra, two of wands, thank you as always for supporting um, Stitch Around the World and for being a friend to Hat Not Hate and just for being your awesome self. So um, thank you, thank you to both of you and congratulations, Claire. You will be receiving, not walking away with, but yeah. receiving in the mail, some lovely, beautiful lion brand yarn. Um, I cannot wait. Yay. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you to you. both of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now to our wild card category. We are just breezing through. I'm excited to introduce a highly accomplished visionary from the fashion world who has worked with Taraji P. Henson, Ariana Grande, Issa Rae, Julie Louie, Julia, Julia Louis Dreyfus, Sophia Vergara, and Scarlett Johansson, that's just to name a few. With more than 17 years of experience in the fashion, in fashion design, he's currently the EVP of apparel design for Vera Wing. Please welcome Keith Listener. Keith, thank you so much hey. for joining us. Thank you, Shira. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so oh happy to be here. Wherever you are, yeah. it looks magical. <laughs> It looks thank magical. <laughs> yeah, I'm on fire. I say thank you. Thank you for the nature that I'm taking credit for. Um, yeah, I'm on fire island. It's, uh, it's beautiful. And thank you so much for joining us today. I'm going to hand it over to you because you have the results of the wild card winner. Yes, I do. I'm so lucky to have this category. Um, I'm very excited to be participating in Stitch Around the World Fashion Edition and to be presenting the first Wild Card Award winner. I've been working in luxury women's fashion design for many years. One thing I know is how complicated and expressive crochet and knitwear can be. From the avant-garde designs by Ray Kaokuba of Combe des Garçons to the punk anti-establishment designs of Vivian Westwood, and even the edgy and poetic designs of my boss, Beer Wang, knits and crochet have always been an integral part of fashion. I know firsthand how difficult it can be to create a beautiful knit piece. During my career, I've been lucky enough to work with some of the most and the greatest knit artisans in the world. I'm always in awe when I see a knit that is not only beautifully crafted, but also artistic and expressive. So to make an avant-garde piece through the medium of knitting or crochet truly speaks to the talent of its creator. And the first winner of the wild card category is Stephanie Pokorny of Mentor Ohio. Woo! Congratulations, Stephanie. Stephanie. Uh, I'd like to ask you to please show us your imaginative design and tell us about it and tell us about yourself. First of all, thank you so much. I am so excited to be a part of this. And the design that I made is absolutely fitting for the wild card category. My passion with crochet is costuming. So this is actually a hat. You can put this on your head and wear it. So when I design my patterns for my crochet verse patterns, I always try to make something that you wouldn't imagine to be a wearable a wearable and you can't see it in the light but the eyes and the lure both light up and for the um 
for the item, I use the Lion Brand Mandala in the sparkle because for me, if you can possibly add glitter, then you absolutely must add glitter. And as usual, I embellish as much as possible. There's some sparkles on there, all the way down to the teeth, and then your face can peek out. And so, yeah, anything for crochet, I'm obsessed with the structure that you can create with it and that you can make things that you would absolutely not be able to see or find anywhere else. So when I saw Wild Card, I was like, yay, this is me, please, please. That's incredible. That is insane, that thing. It's thank amazing. You. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. How long did that take you to make? Well, usually, I'm sure that it's probably the same for everybody, but in my own head, I work through the design for months before I actually sit down and make it. So a lot of times I'll spend a good six months thinking it out in my head, and then all of a sudden I know it's ready and I can sit down, and in the matter of like a week or two, it comes into reality. So I would say a total of probably like six months, uh, six of it being in my head and a few of it being in my hands. That makes total sense. I actually work in a very similar way, so I totally get it. Yeah. I totally get it. The brain is where it has to, if it's, it's all about the thinking and the brain. Yeah, and then once you've got it, you just got to get it done. Right, exactly. All of a sudden, yeah. one day you're like, yep, it's time, it's ready, let's do this. Yeah. yeah, congratulations, it's amazing. Thank you so much, I'm so excited, and thank you for taking the time to present this to me. Oh, my um, pleasure. Amazing. Thank you so much, Keith, for joining us today and taking time out of, you. your, out of your weekend and just uh, for, sharing, for sharing your knowledge and your creativity with, uh, with us. And Stephanie, thank you, thank you for taking the chance and sending in your beautiful Finding Nemo fish. We, <laughs> we are forever grateful um, to your creativity and for sharing with us today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And this event has been a lot of fun and I'm honored to be a part of it. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank um, you. Well, we have one more wild card, actually. We had so many submissions in this exciting category. To introduce our second wild card winner is someone who is absolutely no stranger to thinking outside the box. His crochet fashion line, Lord Von Schmidt, has been seen on national television, and it is redefining how we can wear knitwear. Please welcome the very amazing and very colorful designer, Skylar Ellers. Where is my good friend, Skylar? Hi, thank Hi everybody. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for including me on the Stitch Around the World. Um, I am a unique designer on, on this forum because I actually don't uh, knit or crochet any of the things that I sell or put up on my website, although I do know how to do it. Probably not as well as most of you. Um, but I do feel lucky to be presenting the second wild card winner. I'm a bit of a wild card myself. So I do feel that uh, I am in a unique position to present this award. Uh, so something about my work, I like to take recycled Afghan blankets. So if I start out like- Wait, you know, Skylar, can I like stop this. you for- Skylar, can I stop you for a second? I think there's yeah. something wrong with your camera. Can can you uh, can we maybe see if we can get your camera working? Ah, there you are. Okay, we got gotcha. you. Better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got me now. Okay. Oh. Anyways, really? um, to recap, I take something like this. Can we see it? Oh Does wait, no. I think it? I think you I think you've gone away. Oh wait, <laughs> where where are you? My bad. Hello, I, hello. I, oh, I oh, there you are. Okay, you're you're there. I see you right now. But I you think you see me. Can you hear me? I can. <laughs> hello, I can, can you hear me? I can totally hear you. Hopefully, you can hear us. I think just the connection. I can will, hear you. A, a little slow. You know, no, it's always the case. Yeah, it's always the case that connections get a little slow. Okay. And, um, am I ready to present the next 
winner of the wild card. Yes, the next you, wild card. Yes. You most definitely are, Skylar. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, this is somebody who I personally admire as an amazing crochet artist. I have followed her for some time. The winner of the second wild card spot goes to Tangi Massey of <laughs> South Chesterfield, New Jersey. Virginia, Virginia, but thank you. Virginia, Virginia, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> thank you. Con congratulations, Tangi. Um, I, I want to make the connection between you and you and Skylar, you both have some out of the box thinking. Yeah. So I, I, I would love it if you can um, show us the piece that you won for. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna turn, because I have a model here. Oh, hey. Uh, that is amazing. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. You even have a live model working for you, Tangie. Wow. You got it all over there. Look, if I'm going to do it, I mean, I have to do it right? <laughs> around the world. <laughs> That's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about the piece? Okay. So um, I named her the matriarch. She literally is a dump of all my uh, previous orders. I hate to waste anything. So I'm a craft hoarder to say the least. And I actually use all of my yarn from my previous outfits or orders to make that piece. So there's no rhyme or reason to it. I have everything from Lion Brand to Red Heart to Loops and Hoops to, to every possible brand um, in this outfit. Amazing. And where did you, where did you get the inspiration? Because uh, for many, for, for the people in the chat right now, they may not know um, Skylar's designs, but it's I think awesome. just from, I, I just, now that his video is working, I think we can, I don't think he makes simple blue hats. Let's put it no, that way. He does <laughs> not. No, he does not. Um, the, you know, the inspiration really came from, because I'm actually a licensed counselor by trade. I'm praying that the crafting will take me in another di direction. Uh, but working with depressed, manic depressive women all day, it's like it's, it was my outlet. It's therapeutic for me. So there's really no rhyme or reason. I had no clue what the design was going to be when I started. It was just like whatever the yarn takes me and the needle takes me and the energy I have takes me is, is what was created. I never sketch what I'm going to create. It just happens. And that's what happened with this one. That's, that's you amazing. You know what I love about this piece? Yes. But something I really love is the, is the way it fits the model. It just fits the body in a way that you know, so, so often crochet can kind of dangle or drape or something, but this piece fits the body. It, it hugs the body and it's, it's, it's really a, a, an amazing, what's that, that? It's supposed to hug because I see that a lot with crochet it's clothes. It's, supposed like, to hug. it's not your grandmother's crochet. So I have to let people know, like, it's not grandma's crochet. It's couture no, crochet. Not grandma. I love that. I love it's that. To it's to fit the body, to show off the body. Thank you. And that's an awesome body. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. You Thank you so much to both Skylar. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, I, I'm so, the chair, I didn't know that both of you knew each other. So, when Tangi said, Oh my goodness, Skylar is going to be. I, I'm freaking out. And then Skylar said, I know Tangi because I follow her work. I loved it so much. So it was definitely meant to be. And, and it's, it's crazy because when you told me that, it's like when I first started crocheting, because I started off with the hats and the, and the accessories, and people started sending me 
uh, pictures of Skylar's work. And I was like, Lord von Schmitz. I said, well, let me look and see. And I was like, okay, I like, <laughs> I like that. So it was crazy because even during my journey from starting off from humble beginnings to where I am now, it, I've always had his work done. And I did not know, I've been so busy. I didn't know that he was on Shark Tank until people started inboxing me like, do you know him? He's on short take. And I'm like, oh yeah, he's my friend on Instagram. I know. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love that I was able to bring you guys together. So with that, uh, thank you so much, Tanji. Okay. Thank you so much, Skylar. Thank Skylar, you. thank you for taking the time to come and be a presenter. And Tanji, congratulations on your it's win really today. really fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. And good luck, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Well, as I mentioned, all of our six winners will, will be walking away with, and I'm going to actually change my um, background so you all can see. You will all be walking away with a lovely basket full of True Boo 24 7 Cotton Summer Kiss Re Up and um, some lovely trinkets and uh, goodies from Clover, our good friends at Clover. So thank you so much, Clover, for helping us out with that. Um, before we go today, um, I just want to take the time to first off, again, point out that we have the Loveland Foundation and the Red Cross COVID Relief that will be in the chat, please take the time to give that $1 or two, or like we said, Starbucks isn't open, so maybe that $5.75 for that latte you give towards Loveland or COVID relief. Thank you so much for that. And um, all information about Hat Not Hate will be in the chat as well. And with that, I'm going to um, say a quote. And um, uh, normally on the She Show, we take a deep breath, but I'm, I, I'll just ask y'all to take a deep breath and I'll read it. Um, alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. And that is said by Helen Keller. And with that, I want to thank I want to thank all of our winners for sharing their creativity with us. Thank you to our wonderful presenters for joining us today: Vanna White, Emmy Rylan, Alexandra Travell, Two of Wands, Cecilia Nelson Hurt, Vincent Aquendo, Keith Listener, and Skylar Ellers. Thank you all for taking the time today. And my heart is most appreciative of my team, my Zoomologists, Tom and Dan. Thank you, my interpreters, Michael and Anne, Mark and Kurt, Sam, our social media goddess, Sarah for being the amazing video director and editor. And last but never least, Meg, you wear all the hats so well. So with that, everybody, I thank you so much for joining us on Stitch Around the World. I appreciate everyone. I appreciate your time. I also was sent a message that we had someone from Kuwait in here, which was awesome. Um, <laughs> I just saw Tom's face and he was like, oh boy, that's impressive. <laughs> uh, so we had lots of people joining us today and we did go international. So thank you, thank you to everyone. And as I always say, Please be safe, be healthy, and be kind. And for today, be very, very creative. Thank you, thank you, everyone, and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye, everybody.